Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Daniel Buckley and I will be your instructor for this course. Let's have a look at what we will be creating. We will be creating a first person shooter game inside of Unity. Here I'm in the menu scene, I can click on the play button. We are in the game and you can see there are multiple enemies chasing after me. I can shoot them, but if I get too close, they will start to shoot me. We also have pickups here. You can see I can click the health pickup to get more health. I can get the ammo pickup to get more ammo. And I can finish off and win the game. There we go. I have my final score displayed on screen. And I can choose to restart or go back to the menu. One of the first things we'll look at into creating is the player controller. This is going to be a very versatile player controller which will be able to move, jump and look all around with the camera. The player will also be able to shoot a gun, uh, take damage and die at the end if they do take too much damage. Since we are going to be working with lots of bullets uh, from both the player and the enemies, we are going to be using an object pooling system. Object pooling is a way to recycle objects in the game which limits the use of the instantiate method and actually greatly increases performance depending on how many bullets you have active at once. This is a very versatile tool that is found in many other games and many people within the Unity community uh, use object pooling. Our enemies are going to be using AI navigation to be able to walk around obstacles and chase the player. Unity has a built-in navigation system called NavMesh that we will be using and along with that we'll be adding in our own AI elements such as the enemy stopping at a certain distance to shoot the player. Uh, like the player, the enemy will be able to shoot, take damage and die. When the enemy dies, they will have a specific uh, score that they will give to the player and when the player reaches a certain score, they win the game. To help the player out, we'll be creating pickups. Uh, these pickups will be able to give the player ammo or give the player health. These pickups will also be bobbing up and down and rotating to give them a better visual look and make it easy for the player to find. We will also go into detail on how Unity's UI system works, creating both in-game HUD such as a health bar, score text, pause screen and end game screen, as well as creating a menu screen for the player to launch into the game. Another aspect of Unity we'll be looking at is sound effects. We'll be learning about audio clips and audio sources and how you can actually play sound effects through the script when we want to both shoot our gun and when we collect a pickup. Zenva is an online learning academy with over 400,000 students. We feature a wide range of courses for people who are just starting out or for people who just want to learn something new. The courses are also very versatile, allowing you to learn whenever and wherever you want. With the included project files, you can choose to follow along with the course, and with the lesson summaries, you can choose to either read or watch the lessons. Now let's get started on our project. 